Hey everybody, I'm Brandon 72 mo This is the brand new BF Raptor, released earlier today in the first part of what will be many additions to the Bikers DLC for GTA Online. In the video that I posted earlier today to test drive all of the unreleased vehicles, I said I was going to withhold judgment on this little sports car until it was released and I had the chance to spend more time driving it. Well, it's here, and I've spent quite a while behind the wheel. I've taken it around racetracks, driven it up and back down a mountain, and cruised around in free mode. So what do I think? Well, do not buy this piece of shit. You might think that I'm being a little harsh, but I'm not. This, this thing can be summed up in one word, unpredictable. But I'll come back to that. Let's start with the customization options that are available. Oh wait, that's right, there aren't any. You can paint it and you can change the wheels. Well, you can change two out of three wheels. As you'll see later in the video, no matter what wheel category you select, the rear tire stubbornly refuses to change. So let's talk about how it performs. You've already seen it go down to the drag strip against the 770, but let's look at those times again. The BF Raptor finished at an embarrassing 26.954 seconds. There are low riders that can get down the same drag strip faster than that, but paired up against the 770 at 23.186, the Raptor just got wrecked. And now you're watching me attempt to take the thing around Cutting Corners GP. The best lap, which you're looking at right now, came in at one minute, 14.952 seconds. For comparison, my best time around this same track in an elegy is one minute, 5.904 seconds. Okay, so it's obvious that the Raptor wasn't meant to be fast, but it could be so much quicker if it weren't so damn unpredictable. Let's start with the steering. This car is a twitchy little fucker. Just a tiny little bit of steering input can result in the car turning as if you had the wheel at full opposite lock. What's worse, there's no consistency to it. Taking the same line, at the same speed, around the same corners had wildly different results. One lap, it would get all twitchy and turn in way too much. The next lap, eh, it just couldn't be bothered to turn in at all. Now don't get this confused with understeer or oversteer. I was just talking about the steering. But since I brought it up, the Raptor does suffer from both understeer and oversteer, and there's absolutely no way to predict which one might or might not happen around any given corner. There is absolutely no predictability with this car. And then there's the bouncy rear end. I think the geometry of this car is just all wrong because the back end bounces up and then spins around way, way too easily. The slightest little curb or bump in the road can result in the ass end suddenly facing forward. I mean, it's an okay looking rear end, but it really should stay in the back where it belongs. You saw the same problem in the video that I uploaded earlier today where I tested all eight unreleased vehicles. I started uploading that video early this morning before the Raptor was released. Now that it's out, you can see that my suspicions were right. The Raptor is terrible. What's worse is how much it costs. At 648 grand just to buy it and well over 800 grand fully upgraded, the Raptor is an absolute ripoff. Maybe if it was a tenth of the price, I could overlook some of its shortcomings. But for this kind of money, I expect something that performs well and does it reliably. The Raptor is not that car and I cannot wait to sell it and have it out of my garage. Now, I suppose if you want a funky looking little car that's fun to look at when it's parked in your garage, but induces full on Hulk smash rage when you drive it, this is the car for you. But for everyone else, don't buy the Raptor. It's just not worth it. And now that I've ranted about it, I'm going to let you once again take a look at the customization options, or lack thereof, available for the Raptor. Once that's done, I'll give you a quick peek at how I customized mine, then jump in the car so you can hear the engine start up and rev. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button and get subscribed if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the BF Raptor. I'm Brandon72Mo, and I'll see you in the next video.